Hello folks and welcome to Let's Play Rally Trophy. Now you may not know this game, but in Finland this was a big deal in 2001. Because this game was developed by Finnish gaming company Buckbeer. And yes, that's the same company that has recently released their Wreckfest. Demolition Derby game. Now, 2001 was a special year in the Finnish gaming industry because, beside Rally Trophy, Max Payne was also released in 2001. I don't know if this game, game came before Max Payne. But anyway, it was a big year. But unfortunately, while Max Payne is still considered a classic, Rally Trophy is probably largely forgotten. And that's a shame, because this game is very good rally, rallying game. It was uh, described as a rally simulator, but I don't think this is a simulator. It's, it's arcade game with uh, with good physics, uh, I would say. And one thing that makes this game not very, uh, very suitable for uh, casual gamers, because it focuses on um, 1960s rally instead of uh, modern rally cars. So we have. Uh, Mini Cooper and uh, old old cars that uh, were driven by Hannu Mikkola and other great names. Okay, let's start the championship. I'm using my Logitech G27 wheel, and it works fine. Yes, that's good, and I have already put my name. We have uh, Mini Cooper, Ford Lotus Cortina, Volvo Amazon, Saab, V4, and Unlockables. There is a cheat where you can unlock all the stages and cars, but I'm not going to use it. Let's choose manual transmission. The first round is Russia. The rally of Russia will be driven in the middle of beautiful nature. The course is generally described a fast one, but difficulty varies between stages. Drivers should be wary of hard turns in unexpected places. Paying careful attention to the nose is essential in Russia. Okay. And we have uh, two stages. That long. We can change our tires, our gearbox. Let's have higher high speed. Let's put a softer suspension. And these are good. Okay. Now I had the trouble to get the frame rate to be uh, watchable. Now it's around 30 frames per second. I don't know why this game won't work with the 60 frames per second. But I cannot fix it, so whatever. Three, two, one, go. Left one. Yeah, this controls very well. I even have a force feedback, and you can hear that. You can hear the rumble. Right three. Right three. Left four. Don't cut. Left three. Yeah, I remember playing this when this was released, right and. 
I didn't have a good wheel, so it was very easy to spin the car around. Yeah, back in 2001, these graphics were just amazing. Right one, left two. Textures are very well done. And right three. There are some left effects two. like uh, sun flare. Left one, don't cast ditch. But, uh, I have disabled some right effects. Oh no. Jump. That was close. Left one. Right three. Titans. Oh, it's. Left two. It's so bright. I can see. Left four. Don't so lifelike. Yeah. yeah th this game got very good. Reviews and I think some 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 thought this was too difficult to drive. I don't I don't share their opinion. This is it's quite manageable if you know what you are doing. Yeah. <laughs> Put some realism here because you have a wildlife and spectators and right three and the uh, damage model Left is three. quite uh, advanced as well. Yeah, pretty good. All right. Waiting by six seconds. Animals here. Left four. And they have to pull over the force feed back. Right it's, it's quite rumble, rumbly at the moment. Right four. <laughs> I cannot hear the Left one. co pilot thanks to the rumble. Break. Yeah, there's a somehow a lack of uh, rallying game. Rallying games. We have code masters doing their dirt rally series, and then there's one company doing the official. WRC games, but 
they are quite poor. I haven't played them, but uh, I have heard that they are quite poor. save our progress and uh, continue next time. So, see you next time. Bye!